So I know that this is, uh, well, to put it nicely, this is out of my pay grade. You can probably tell in my voice that I'm not incredibly experienced with World Wars and uh, just, honestly, just international politics. As many of the people I know in real life will say, I mostly only really talk, if I'm going to talk politically, I'm only going to talk about local politics, so provincial politics and federal politics. I never really talk about anything, I mean, unless it's something, you know, something significant going on, like the whole Hong Kong situation and things like that. I don't usually talk about situations like that, especially on YouTube, because it's a wild west when it comes to talking about stuff like that on YouTube. And I know that you probably heard the whole, just everyone talking about World War III, even people who, like me, don't even, are nowhere near to covering anything political at all. But uh, it's just, every, it's the only thing that is really trending, and it's the only thing I keep seeing in my feed. It's not that I want to capitalize on World War III. If I wanted to capitalize on World War III, I would have made this video earlier. Like, the moment that World War III actually started trending but after talking to close family members and friends i've well i've noticed that most people are simply just feeling that and i kind of do agree with them a little bit is that the chances of the actual world war breaking out keep going up like when we first when okay when the meme about world war three first started when the iranian general was killed that was and if you don't okay if you don't know anything about world war three by the way I strongly recommend that you go onto any other page on the internet. I'm going to be skipping past it because basically everyone watching this video already knows the situation. The whole reason I made this video was because Twitter literally, what, 20 minutes ago, put on the trending feed that, uh, well, Iran launched a ballistic missile attack on an airbase where, of course, American troops were stationed. But anyway, going back to what I was saying, the whole thing about World War III starting keeps coming up with a lot of people I talk to about it. They're not incredibly afraid, and I'm not afraid too much either. It's definitely a scary thought, and it is not, it's not pleasant at all, and the thought of some, even like a tiny, or t tiny and like, relatively speaking, conflict between America and Iran, I mean, that's still scary on its own, but a whole World War... It's far-fetched, but even just the idea is putting fear into a lot of people's minds, I think. The big reason why people think that this is going to happen, and it's a fair argument, is simply just that there are a plethora of superpowers out there, and there is a chance that some of them could team up with Iran for reasons because they disagree with the killing of the Iranian general, or just because they want to get some dirt on America. Whatever the reason, they think, and I, like I said, I kind of agree with them, that it is a possibility. But what holds me off, and what holds a lot of people off too, from making that argument, is just that we are so early into this that we do not know what is going to happen. And saying that any, like, anything predicting World War III, predicting any conflict, is very hard because this is the first not even the first week after the whole the drama started with the drone attack but then comes with that is the fear of just maybe world war three is happening we just don't know we won't know and maybe 2020 will be the year that a whole bunch of shit goes down we just don't know and we probably won't know from what i get from it it is so early to make the call about world war three regardless of the memes regardless of everything I don't think people should be freaking out just yet about World War III. If World War III does break out and you get a draft in the mail from whatever country you're in, then okay, yeah, then you can start freaking out. But as of right now, we're, we're good. We're good. It's definitely tensions are rising, but I feel like we don't need to start panicking just yet. And honestly, I just really hope that this all gets resolved before it turns into a world war because it helps nobody on either side. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll try to make a more lighter video in the future, and I didn't want this to be my first video of the decade, but uh, it's it's what everyone's talking about, so I don't know. I might as well throw my own two cents in there. I hope you enjoyed, and as always, see you.